And a big crowd has lined up for the men's 1,500 meters, the world record held by Saido Ida, but Nordin Morsley, who holds the meet record, has his eyes on that mark, Craig. Well, he was frustrated by his seventh place finish in the Olympic Games, but this field is so big, 16 runners in all, that may frustrate his record attempt. The trend continues, the medal winners from Barcelona, all three of them in this race as well. But Morsley, after that seventh place finish, is he going to change his strategy? Well, clearly he's not as good at the sprint finish as he was a year ago, and he favors a faster pace, and he's got to run a faster pace if he wants to set the world record. And speaking of strategies, five Kenyans in this race. They were shut out in the Olympics. They obviously would like to do well here. Well, I think the Kenyans regret not pushing the pace in Barcelona, making it more of an honest race. We saw Fermin Cacho there right at the starting line. What a popular winner he was in his home country of Spain. Taking the lead is the pace setter Peter Stubbs from Australia. That's Marcus O'Sullivan right on his heels. You know, when we talked with O'Sullivan before the race, he told us that his strategy of waiting and kicking, which has served him so well over the years indoors in the United States, also when he was at Villanova, just hasn't worked for him lately. He didn't make the final at the Olympics. He says now he wants to run more aggressively, run towards the front, and push the pace if necessary. Well, Stubbs and O'Sullivan are up front, but right behind them, Nordin Morsley, along with William Kamai. Kamai, one of those Kenyans who you mentioned, he didn't even make their Olympic team. He wasn't in Barcelona. 56.08, Stubbs has put the pace out there on the first lap. And O'Sullivan right up there with him, along with Morsley and Kamai. Also in excellent, po excellent position is Fermin Cacho. Cacho running on the inside, much as he did in Barcelona. On Barcelona, he snuck by on the inside with a little less than 200 meters to go and ran away with the victory. Here, though, he's got to concentrate and keep with this pace because it's a fast one. Nordin Morsley, despite that disappointing run in Barcelona, comes into this meet very confident. He has to like this pace. Well, he ran well in Monaco just a few days ago, running his best time of the year. So he knows he's on a roll, and he's really burned with desire to make up for that Olympic disappointment. Seventh place just wasn't what he planned on getting. It's the same order. Stubbs, O'Sullivan, Morsali, Kamai, and Cacho. 152.81, so the pace is rolling. That's world record pace. And Peter Stubbs who did an excellent job setting that pace, now drops back, and out of the race, O'Sullivan takes the lead. Well, that's where O'Sullivan told us he wanted to be, and now it's really up to him. If he thinks a fast pace is what he needs, he's going to keep pushing it, and Morsali will go right with him. And so is Kamai. It appears Kamai wants to get up alongside of Morsali. Morsali looking very relaxed right now, and that's the way to get it done. If you can get all the way to one lap to go and really not have expended too much energy, psychic or physical, you've got a shot at the world record, and they're still on world record pace. And there's the bell, one lap to go. Marcus O'Sullivan continues to lead Nordin Morsley. Cacho got into a few problems right there. He stepped on the rail, and that's the problem. If you always run inside, sometimes you can step on the rail, and right now he's not boxed. And it seems to be Morsley, he's ready to make a move. 2.49, a little bit behind world record pace, but he's sprinting well now. And here comes William Kamai to challenge him. And here comes Cacho. But it is Nordin Morsley with the lead. And that was a great move by Morsley. This race is over now. There's no way these guys are going to catch him. It was such an authoritative move. It's just Morsley against the clock, and he has to sprint well down this home stretch. The time to beat is 3.29.46. Nordin Morsley. meters to go 325 it's going to be close but he does not get it 330.75 that's the fastest time in the world this year an Algerian record but that's not the record he wanted in this race Morsley lowers the meat record and appears ready to challenge the world record he's with Carol Lewis
personal record make up for your disappointment in Barcelona? Yeah, you know, what happened in Barcelona, I was very, very disappointed because, you know, especially I was looking very easy in the heat and semi-final, but in the final, I ran very bad tactical, I ran very poor race, especially I put myself in the middle and then they looked at me, I couldn't get up in last turn. That's why. And I was very disappointed, but my, here it's my revenge, I got my revenge and it's great to run here, especially this meet, it's best, uh, best meet in the world. Well, congratulations, and hopefully you have a world record chance later on this summer. Thank you very much. You know, I'm young, 22 years, so I have many years to go, so I'll, I can do it. Thank you. Thank you so much.